So guys, I am back with another Cyberpunk 2077 video and today I'm going to showcase to you guys how you can get all the brand new items added into the game with the 1.6 patch, weapons and armour. How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like it really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Now all items will be time stamped down below if there is a specific thing you are looking for. Okay, so we'll start with the weapons and we'll start with four brand new weapons added into the inventory of a gun vendor. Okay, so the weapons are the Kappa Smart Pistol, the Kyubi Power Assault Rifle, the MA-70 HB Power Light Machine Gun and the VST-37 Fulzar Power Shotgun. So the gun vendor can be seen on the map right here. So come to this guy's location guys, yeah, the weapons can actually spawn in here in an epic version too so you may as well farm him to get the epic versions. Uh, to farm him guys, if he hasn't got the weapons there for you within his inventory just back out of it, walk away a few feet and skip time by 24 hours and go back. Let's repeat until you get what you want. Next up guys we have 5 brand new knives or blades as well as a new iconic weapon. So this knife vendor seen on the map right here guys, he has a, an exclusive iconic weapon tied to him called the Head Hunter. So you can come to this uh, vendor guys and farm this dude for this new weapon. To farm him as you do, you step outside of your shop, skip time by 24 hours and then just go back in and keep doing it guys. He also has uh, five brand new weapons as well. He has the claw axe, the automatic chain sword, the new autoxin knife, the punk knife, and the razor machete. These can all be epic variants too. So you can farm these as well as the iconic headhunter at this vendor. Okay, so we also have another brand new iconic weapon called the Blue Fang. And it's this knife vendor you can see on the map right here, guys, which you can farm for this weapon you can also farm this knife vendor guys for the claw axe the cutomatic the new york toxin and the punk knife as well as the razor you can also farm those weapons at this vendor too so if you want the blue fang over the head hunter you can come to this vendor and farm this dude simple Okay, so next up guys, we have the Butcher's Caliva. Now this is obtained from a real early mission called Map Templeland. As you go inside the Butcher's, you meet a, uh, well you meet Plasoid for the first time. He uses this to cut a chicken's head off. When he puts it down guys, you can simply pick the knife back up. But again, this is a real early mission in the game, so you may have to either wait until a new game plus, or create a new character. I'm not sure it's worth creating a new character, but hey, 
Do what you gotta do. Fait. pas fait aucun sens pour ces licornières. She's done. Looking for placid. Placid. Gardez ici là. Do do ti pi ti mama. C'est au même. Continuez. Placid. Gardez là. Proceed. Mm -hmm. Told me at the chapel you're the one to talk to. Mr. Hans sent me. Said you got Merc work needs doing. No here. Come with. Next up, guys, we have the gut shotgun. This can be obtained via going to the Metro Mario Park fast travel and following the route I take as seen on screen. Now, the weapon is literally just lying by a bush. Next up guys, you have the Hypercritical Power Precision Rifle. Now this is a weapon you obtain and pick up off of a side mission or side gig called the Concrete Cage Trap. Now this gig isn't there for everyone. If it isn't there for you, simply complete more gigs within the area and it should appear for you. Once the gig is there for you guys, go as directed throughout the gig and you eventually come to a room uh, where a guy called Mike needs his inhaler. The weapon is literally on the side in the room next to him. I think it may be a bathroom. Grab it and you are good.
in the bag. Got it. Next up, guys, we have the Senko LX Tech Machine Gun or Tech Submachine Gun. So this weapon is sitting on a table within a gig called Nasty Hangover. Simply start the gig. Uh, you can kill everybody or just run and grab this weapon depending on your preference and if you want to complete the gig. But it's right there. You don't have to complete the gig to get this thing. You can just simply run in and grab it. It's up to you. Okay, so we're going to move on to the clothing and the armor. Okay, so we're going to start with David Martinez's jacket or David's jacket as it's called in game. Now this is obtained from a side mission called Over the Edge. This starts as you see here on the map. Come here guys, come to this point and you have to watch a brain dance. So I'm going to skip that part. I mean, it's absolutely amazing, but definitely watch it in game. Interesting. Now upon you watching it or after you've watched it, you are then notified to text our Captain Reyes. Upon you exchanging messages about David Martinez, you then need to drive out of the area and skip time by 24 hours to initiate the next step. Keep skipping time though guys until Falco sends you a message. Exchanging that conversation with him and then guys you are sent to a location pinpointed on your map. Go here and you will receive this amazing jacket. Next up guys we have the lightweight hardened rubber media steel toes or just the media boots. Now these are the missing item which completes the media set. Uh, these were added with the latest 1.6 patch. Problem is they were thrown in with the loot source which originally gave you the media pants. Meaning if you have already looted the body which gave you the media pants they are not there for you. If you haven't go to where I do on screen now and grab these things. If you are interested in the rest of this set, I will link my video showcasing all sets down below within the video description as well as all weapons.
Okay, so next up we have the Roach Whisperer set. Okay, so this set is rewarded to you for getting a top score on an arcade game called Roach Race. You need to find an arcade machine, they are all over the map, but you can just go to the one I use seen on screen now. If the arcade machine hasn't got a game of roach race for you, simply run out of the area and come back until it appears. Now upon you beating the top score, which I believe is just over 3,300, you are then sent a text message and you will then find a crate, a loot crate, just inside of your apartment on your left with your rewards in them. Simple. And lastly guys, we have the Techie Harness. For this new item, come to the Ventura and Skyline fast travel point and follow the path I take on screen now to this locker. Simply open the locker and grab that loot. And there we have it guys i believe there's 19 maybe 20 brand new items in the game guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like it really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more cyberpunk be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i'll see you on that next one